Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Wes. For those that are new, consider hanging out to the end. And everyone else, welcome back to our Staxel playthrough. Uh, we are currently in the seventh day of spring, and we got a lot to get done today. Uh, what I wanted to start on right off the bat is the little uh, fishing spot that we're making for Araya. And that was kind of the, the main focus, and then working on finishing kind of the farming boxes and making those all squared away. But other than that, I think that's what we're going to do today. So, let's get started. Okay, so now that we're here, I remember us kind of working on this, and there was a few limitations that we, we needed, right? So we needed a fishing rack and a bait box, and we learned that the bait box needs a few of, uh, a few more workstations, if you will, to get done, meaning that we need more money, right? So we do have a decent amount, so what we need to do in order to kind of progress forward is we need some money right now until we can have you know, enough crop income kind of coming in and out so that it could support us day to day, right? It's just that kind of stuff. So what we're hoping for and what I'm hoping for too is that A, we either find another cabin that we can raid or B, we find the mine that will allow us to kind of get uh, quite a bit of money early on before, you know, our farm is going on and yeah i know some of you are like oh we'll just use the net i yeah i mean we can catch bugs but to me it's not as lucrative as just finding that mine um because you know 10 minutes worth of bug catching and 10 minutes worth of you know looking for the mine the trade-off in my opinion is is substantially better towards the mine and you know i know some of you might be thinking like well you know you did that last episode you know or last season rather and you know i do get that i really do but I guess what I'm kind of thinking of or where I'm coming from this is, you know, there's going to be new people, right? New subscribers are constantly subscribing daily, which thank you, by the way. And, you know, maybe they didn't catch first the season one or maybe because they wanted to play 1.3 right off the bat. You know, there's no point in looking at the old seasons, right? I mean, it makes makes sense. I'm not blaming anyone. So what I'm pretty much saying is, is all the people, you know, you've watched me do something before. Just be, be patient, you know, and, and I'll still spice it up. And the best part is... At least in this season, I want to kind of add some challenges almost daily. And you guys are going to be the ones that help me pick them out. So I want you guys to let me know of a few uh, challenges you might think of, uh, you know, to do during the day. Like, for instance, I can't use dirt blocks when, you know, one whole episode. Or I can't use my shovel, my pickaxe, my hammer, my something, right? And then we'll see that kind of change or take place in the other episodes, right? Okay, so I'm coming across not a lot right now, and I am kind of dual looking for a hole in the ground and or the uh, cabin, I should say, not the cabin, but a cabin. And so far, either one I'm not really seeing. Um, but, you know, we'll take a few more minutes. If not, then I'm going to go off camera. I'm going to kind of really look, and then we'll kind of just jump right back into this. It's just so you guys, you know, you don't see me just constantly wasting an entire episode looking for this mine that I really want. But, I guess since we're in the middle of this and, you know, I always like to keep it entertaining, so I guess thank you all those that have been com commenting, subscribing, coming in, checking up on me and making sure, you know, all was well. I do appreciate all that, as usual. And, you know, I do plan to get right back on schedule. Uh, you know, so for those anticipating videos every, you know, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, I do plan to get that. And two, kind of, you know, a lot of the new people and just some of the, you know, the veterans here, I just kind of want to get you guys kind of on the same page right now. And I do plan to live stream some more um, like I did before. Uh, not at the same times that I actually need to update the, the you know, my times on it. Uh, I want to kind of do it more in the evening. And I know some of you are not, my, you know, you, you might not be able to catch it because of school or work or, you know, might just be too late. But the hope is, is that, you know, I'll archive it and send it to YouTube. If nothing else, then you can just see kind of some of the, the live streaming. And I kind of like that because it's it's easier. And I kind of have a few new things up my, you know, my sleeve to make it look better. Uh, the first being is, is for those that, don't, you know, no graphics cards and everything, I was able to buy a GTX 1080 Ti. Uh, that's a workhorse of a, a card. And so I'll make sure all the games look good. And won't have a problem there. But two, I was able to make a streaming box uh, with some help. And what that will do is that will take care of kind of the, the heavy load that it puts on the computer to send all the information to Twitch. 
for those you know that might not know what's going on. So with those kind of paired together, that means the quality should go up substantially, and the you know, and it should always be at 1080p 60 with minor dips, you know, just due to latency because of you know internet or something. But I don't even think that should be a problem. Okay, so I'm not finding it. And like I said, it was. I just kind of want to get everyone on the same page. So be t uh, stay tuned for that. I'll let you guys know on all the social medias. And again, I'll probably make a video uh, going more in depth into um, more in depth into the the times and the days that I plan on live streaming. Um, because sometimes you know during the the week it's hard to record. You know, just because of you know personal life and then you know uh, the family. It's just sometimes easier just to live stream, you know, for a couple hours at night, and then I can post it in the morning, and we can all have fun. But again, um, don't be, you know, don't be shy. Be sure to come on, you know, if you can, and come on, say hi to the streams. I'm going to be streaming all kinds of things like Staxel and, and a bunch of other games for those that are looking for anything more serious or, you know, just something a little different and nothing else. Then we can just chat, right? Okay, so like I said, I've been doing this for a while. I did have the time paused because for whatever reason... I seem to have let the game run a little bit, uh, as I must have been playing with the settings ever since the new graphics card. But uh, let me s keep that the time off, right? So it's it's going to be you know brand new and nothing's going to change. And let me see if I can find the the um, mine by myself. All right, I'll be right back. So not that much time has passed, and here we are. For those that are new, that would be what you're looking for, right? So you'd be walking around kind of like this. And you would see kind of a couple of holes in the ground. And then the closer you get, you can actually see these little tracks. And, you know, luckily the game provides you a nice little path all the way down. So, for those that are familiar with the game, then you know kind of the reason why I do this. And also, you probably have done it yourself. The reason why you go down here is because it's just so lucrative early on to get all the materials. For those that are new, this is one of my kind of top five, in my own opinion, kind of little money grabs, you know, in my opinion... So that when you're starting new or starting fresh, you know, and you want to do it legitly, uh, coming down here and gathering some of these resources that are just laying down here, they sell for quite a bit. So make sure uh, you remember that things in this game, you know, as far as the way you sell things is make sure to sell them in bulk, right? So, you know, don't grab one or two because it will take a while before the economy, if you will, will uh, come back and then make it, you know, worth your while. So I always try to just grab as much as I can. Um, I mean, of course, if you got time and you have the patience, you can just rip down everything, right? Take a, take out some of this wood, uh, take out some of the supports, because it's it's free building materials, in my opinion. And that will help this uh, series kind of go along. I do have a few tricks that I'm thinking of, or a few ways I want to kind of progress with building in this game. So that's not all building, but it, at least... For those that actually do enjoy it, they'll still be able to see progression. And everyone else would kind of hopefully be a happy medium. But, you know, I'm trying to do my best this season to kind of keep it fresh, keep it new, and keep it a little bit different. Uh, you know, than just doing the good old, you know, copy-paste thing. But something I wanted to work on um, is the new friendship system. I'm looking forward to that because I haven't really done much with it um, in terms of... Since the update, right? If kind of <laughs> kind of just... Took a break from Staxel, just kind of wanted to, to come back when it was fresh so that I'm, inter you know, I'm entertained with it. I'm engaged and, you know, I'm actively trying to play versus like, yeah, hey guys, it's me and we're episode 486 of Staxel and and I really don't like it anymore. Um, But yeah, I'm enjoying my time, still am. Um, Okay, so I believe, you know, as I've been rambling along, I was able to kind of grab quite a bit in terms of just the supplies here. And I think that's going to be enough for right now. Um, the only reason why I don't <laughs> why I do not do it is because you know, spending the entire episode just gathering materials, you know, would be pretty boring. Um, so let's grab about that. And, you know, usually by the time we're about to make a second run down here, you know, it's because it's been a while and, you know, we need another big project to buy materials. But, other than that, let's just go ahead and let me just 3D map this. There we go. So there's my heading. I need to go that direction, which um, I need to see. So, uh, in this game, as far as I'm aware, I don't really pay attention to the sun quite enough to determine where it sets and rises. Because then that would help me do cardinal directions. Um, but, as the default, so I just don't have to remember, is if you see the kind of warped building in the background with the blue teal roof, there it is, it came, came into view now, um, 
the that's the mayor's house. And so I always, in my opinion, uh, the the back of this mayor's kind of town hall is north, right? So in my opinion, that's north, you know, east, south, west, and all that, right? And so that's kind of what I do. We don't have to. How, you know, however you guys want to do it, you can do it your way. But that's how I, I just kind of keep it in my head uh, where the directions are. I mean, of course, if we stayed long enough, we might be able to see the sun move and then we can turn in east and west. And then from there, you know, anyways, <laughs> getting all Boy Scout with you. All right. So you see, here you go for, you know, minimal effort, in my opinion, you got three carts at 180. You see 42 crates sell for 20, you know, 700 and a little bit more. And you just go down, sell everything, right? If you need some crates for storage, great. Keep, you know, great. Ha <laughs> ha. Crate. <laughs> um, you know, sell half, right? So there's 600 right there. And and here, some track. What's track? It's not that much, but I mean, again, another 100. So boom, like that in the course of, you know, just having to find it and then taking the five minutes, if that, to kind of just run around, you have $5,000, right? Oh man, we need to sell a piece of dirt. All right, here we go. I want, I want, just there, here we go. I want 500, 5,555. Yes. I want a screenshot of that. There we go. That's all we can accomplish today was to get 500, excuse me, $5,555. If only there was cents and then we get 55 cents. Okay. So immediately, the reason why I like that is because I always turn around and uh, right, invest it right back in. So we can buy a standard mailbox, which we don't want. The It was the combined station and I believe it was the carving station. And to kind of keep me, let's see. The carve combined. Yep. Okay. Then it was the fish rack. Fish rack was assembler. Yeah. I mean, it's good that we get these because we're going to need these uh, already. Is that the assembly table? Perfect. Okay. So just like that, you know, there goes three grand and just tables and stuff alone. Um, I do believe the bait box needed the lumber, metal, and nails. I did see us. We did kind of have stuff in anticipation. There, there's my two beetles that we need. I did see the sheet metal. I don't see the nails, but it doesn't mean we don't have any. Um, let me go ahead and actually just uh, wire. Oh, that's new. Oh, man, I don't know what that's for. Okay, you know what? Let's just build it here. We'll pick up all our tables when we're done, and then we will um, be done. <laughs> we'll be done. We'll pick it up, and then we'll set them in the house somewhere. Then we need to build a, a workshop, and, and I can't wait to kind of test it on a, uh, a design that I've been working in my head. Okay, so bait box first. We have lumber, steel, nails, and two rhino beetles. Beetles. <laughs> okay, so in the carve station, sheet metal and nails. Okay, carving station. Sheet metal. Sheet metal. And then nails. But we're just gonna buy some since what is that? A hinge? A latch and a knob. Oh man, you can build doors and stuff. Okay, that's actually cool. Okay, so these are nails, and boom. <laughs> Am I missing something huge? Is it like lumber? Yeah, lumber, steel, nails. Um, there we go. I have some lumber on me. Perfect. I don't know how much of each. Oh, okay. Let's see. It's just gonna be one of each. All right. So this should be pretty straightforward from here. Um, for those trying to do it for yourself. So now that you got the box, right? You, you got to combine it with some bait, right? So here you go. You would just kind of throw that down. You grab your two rhino beetles and put it on. And now that's the bait box. And you can see it's full of lures and pretty sure that's supposed to be worms and whatever that is. And, and a mushroom looks in the middle. Perfect. Now that's done. Now we need the fish rack. And the fish rack wanted, let's see, fish rack. It needed three lumber two nails and two rope okay so one two that's a sack cloth rope one two and then it didn't say lumber and i guess i'm gonna oh did it say which man i didn't look at anything the assembler okay there we go so over here we need that that and that perfect fish rack this is all coming together i think that's it that's all we needed so let's go ahead and grab our hammer um, pick up all of our tables and then, um, we'll be good. So for those again that are new and you're looking for a few more tips, if you don't feel bad about stealing, you can rip up this furniture and it won't affect the, <laughs> the, the story will still be there. The same thing in the, the general store, as I call it. 
Um, there's, there's a ton of kind of crates and bookshelves in the back. You can break all of those up and then sell them. But hey, you know, however you feel morally, if you want to steal a bunch of people's stuff or not. Um, I didn't realize we live this close. So let me just take a quick swim and we're going to go down and we're going to finish the docks. And now Raya will have an awesome place to fish, at least for now. I am waiting for a few mods to update and we'll go back and we'll actually really make a dock for her. Uh, there's a few dock parts in a mod uh, that I want, but I think it's updated, but then, whoa, I ran right past it talking. But the problem with, I guess, in our situation is there's just, I don't have enough money for it. Because uh, the, we need the shipping station and the, and the catalog. Okay, so, fishing rack, I think should go, I don't know. Uh, I don't want to, like, obstruct a bunch of stuff, but at the same time, it's like, it needs to go somewhere. Let's make this dock, I guess, a little bit longer. There we go. And maybe we'll have the dock go over this way. You know, maybe we'll make it three wide. So let's just go ahead and we'll rip up this sign. Because right now it doesn't matter. Okay, there we go. Back into our inventory. Grab the sign. Um, Should I put it there like we had it? There we go. Okay. And then the fish rack can go there. And then, in my opinion, what I like is the bait box. So let's grab this barrel, right? And then kind of put the barrel... Um, I don't know, but there you think, and then we'll rotate this around, and there we go. So that should be everything that we needed. Let's go ahead and make sure. Yep, 14 water blocks, 10 wooden blocks, one fish rack, one bait box, and one barrel. So now we officially have a fishing spot ready for Raya to come and fish her heart away, and she can fish all over, and, and she'll be really happy. If I'm not mistaken, she start beelining. Yep, man, she's already here. So one thing I want to do in the future is we'll make a path stemming from whoever's home that is and comes down and around and will connect and then we'll kind of make one go uh, to my, to our farm rather, not just mine. And that should be that as far as that. Okay, so let's talk to her real quick. She should be so excited that she will want to give us stuff. So let's just put a few crates around to kind of, you know, give it the uh, decor aspect like, oh yeah, look, there's, you know, fish and Whatever else that needs to be here. Hey, there she is. Okay, let's see where she goes immediately. Because last time I built one for her, she ran right into the water. And that was about it. No, okay, so she she's content. Perfect. Let's talk to her. Ma! Do cats always end their sentences with ma? No, no, just sometimes. Ma, ma. Okay, but I just built you this. Ma! Oh, what? Ma! Okay, maybe we're just ahead of schedule because she should recognize what we did and be so thankful that she wants to give us presents. I know spoilers for those that haven't done this yet. <laughs> oh man, she's not gonna give it to us. I'm, I'm not sure what's what I did wrong. I mean, it's it's ready, right? I'm not crazy. Yeah. Okay, so she's supposed to be so excited that she gives us her old fishing rod, but in this case it looks like that's not the case. She, she doesn't want to give us her old fishing rod. I'm sad now. Aw. I wanted, I wanted a fishing rod. You know, maybe it takes a while for her, it to update, right? So maybe now. No. Kath is always in their sentences. Mwah, no, just sometimes. Mwah. Oh man. Okay. Well, at least that's done for now. And then let's go put down the tables that we bought already. You know, our three grand worth of tables. Let's check on our crops and check on our animals, and if we need anything, then we'll continue. Uh, this is the barn ready for potentially sheep and pig in the future, and when we get there to the point where we need to build onto it, then we'll actually build onto it. But kind of took all the structural kind of importance out of the way, or the bigger parts, just so we can just kind of add on a little bit by little bit. Okay, so that seems to be that. Uh, I like this little area right now. That's kind of just open for, you know, I don't know what to put in it yet. So let's just put our tables out here. Uh, I do want to build a, a shop in the future because we will we'll collect quite a few tables. Um, and trust me, we'll be using them all at some point, if not multiple times. So there we go. We'll just kind of have the three tables there. Um, we'll, we'll set, actually, we'll put a crate kind of nearby, maybe in this corner um, or two. And so we'll keep kind of raw materials that we need in there. So for instance, like the lumber, if I had any spare nails, we'll put them in there just so that we know they're there and they're not taking up inventory space because more than likely I'll forget where they are. Okay, so uh, other than that, we'll need to work on some lighting next episode and we need to get uh, some 
uh, what was it? work on our crops and work on these farm boxes and all that. But let me go ahead and let's put some stuff in our house before we call it quits. Um, yeah, we need to make, hey, tigers inside. Let's see. I think I have a coffee table here. Yeah, let's put, let's put this right here. Perfect. Yeah, now it starts looking good. It's starting to look like home. Oh, hey, look, some, some actual real wood. And uh, ref our refined, what is it called? Fine lumber. Okay, there we go. I was close. Anything else? Well, we have a ton of sand blocks. So yeah, let's go ahead and let's put the sand in here because what we're using those sands for, the sand for is to make these blocks. So let's go ahead and put this. Oh, you know what? That's why I couldn't make them. And let me actually show you real quick. So on the assembly table, just put some stone and I'll let you make stone blocks. But you put some sand and you will make the cobblestone paths, right? And then you get them 10 at a time for uh, three of each, I believe. Let me see if it goes back to... No, okay. So it's five rock to three sand is what it's looking like. Okay, so other than that, let me go run into bed. But ladies and gentlemen, thank you for tuning into our Staxo playthrough. I am grateful all those that are hanging out to the end and enjoying it and staying. You know, if you're new, consider subscribing. Um, and be sure to look down below for the social medias for all the updates that I kind of push out before making a video. But until next time, guys, I hope you guys know that you're awesome. And as always, keep it real.